West Ham Network, it's Holly and I am here with your Hammers headlines for today. That is Tuesday the 12th of September, run in association with the brilliant KUMB.com guys. Today we're going to be running through some interesting updates on our squad as well as the appointment of a certain referee you might recognise for Saturday's Premier League game. It would be rude to keep you waiting, wouldn't it? So without further ado, let's jump straight into them. First up, Moy spoke with TalkSport and one of the interesting parts was around how late some of our players will be returning to London after the international break. We knew that the more high profile, talented players that we brought into the squad, the more situations like this we would probably have to deal with. So it's not come as the biggest surprise, but it also isn't really ideal, especially ahead of one of the hardest fixtures of the season coming up. Moy said now they will play different days. We've got Edson Alvarez, who we don't think will get back until late Thursday afternoon, which is obviously a lot later than we would want him back to get him prepared for the City game. That said, we're not alone in this and Alvarez looks to be very professional. We've seen what he's capable of, even with very little preparation time. So here's hoping he's in a good headspace and he's ready to be a brick wall against City on Saturday. Moyes added, it's the same for a lot of clubs. We've just got to get on with it. But I've got to say it will be really tough for them to get back from those trips and then be ready to play on the Saturday. It's going to be interesting to see how we prepare Alvarez. Will he do some light training on Friday to loosen up or will he be given a rest day to overcome jet lag and be ready for Saturday? Either way, I'm pretty confident that he will step up to the challenge and be prepared no matter what. Are you worried, though, about Alvarez returning to London with less than 48 hours before the City game? Or do you think it's nothing to worry about and it's all going to be absolutely fine? Let us know in the comments. For your second story, it's the one that keeps popping up. And I think it's always me that ends up bringing it up because every day I'm doing Hammers headlines, this seems to be one of the main stories. So apologies, but it's another Jesse Lingard update. Moyes has commented today on the condition that Lingard is in, as well as whether or not his future is cemented at West Ham. This is probably the most solid update we've actually had, other than knowing that he's going to be playing in that friendly and then there wasn't really anything said after that. Interestingly, he hasn't completely committed either way, but he definitely does make it sound as though Lingard is the looking like a potentially promising addition to our squad. Moy said, Jesse has trained with us for three weeks. He's improved greatly and he's in really good condition and much better condition than when he first came in. When Jesse joined us a couple of years ago, he scored for us, I think, 10 goals in 15 games. And that was probably the difference for us to get into Europe for the first time. So I want to give him a real opportunity to get back into condition and see how he does. There's no real update on it at the moment, but just to say he's back and he's getting much closer to levels of fitness where we hoped he'd be. So just as a reminder, we've got to submit our squad to the Premier League tomorrow at the latest. So time is actually ticking for Moyes to make that decision. From what he said there, I wouldn't be overly surprised if Lingard is signed before the deadline. And it would be a bit strange to be speaking about him in this way, but then not put forward an offer to actually bring him onto the team. Team, but only time will tell. We know from experience that Moyes doesn't tend to talk about players that aren't his. Bit of a weird situation where Lingard is training with the team but isn't a player. Um, and it does sound like we are putting a lot of work and giving him a lot of opportunities for somebody that you wouldn't have necessarily expected to be given this much for chance. Um, but again, we have said with AFCON, with squad shortages, especially on the left, it could be useful if we can get him under really good terms for us. So it'd be interesting to see I imagine the negotiations have already taken place in terms of the amount of money that he'd be willing to play for and the amount of will it, money that we would be willing to pay for for him to come to us. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Let's see. Would you like to see Lingard, though? This has dragged on. I've asked this question so many times, but you've got to tell me again in the comments. Do you want to see Lingard? And finally, Andy Madley has been announced as the referee for our home game against Man City on Saturday. This one could definitely go either way. For anybody that doesn't remember, he was referee in charge when we faced Chelsea at Stamford Bridge last season. This was, of course, the game where he was sent to the pitch side monitor before ruling out Maxwell Cornet's equaliser late in the match. Pretty much the only thing that Cornet would have actually had on his stats as well. So I'm sure Cornet is not a big fan of Andy Madley whatsoever. He's almost certain that when a referee 
referee heads over to the monitor, we know that they're probably going to change their mind from their original decision because they're being recommended that there's something that they missed in real time. But I have to say, this one was an exceptionally frustrating moment as we basically watched him buckle under pressure in real time and uh, disallow our goal. That said, perhaps in the back of his mind, he is going to be wary about making any unfair decisions at the monitor against us this time. So could it work in our favour? There is a chance that having him referee could, but we're just not going to know. However, we will find out in a few days. So there you have it. Those are your Hammers headlines for today. If you've not already subscribed, make sure you do so you never, ever, ever have to miss an update. If you fancy upgrading as well, take a look at our membership where you can enjoy loads of exclusive content and be entered into our amazing monthly prize draws. And if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Have a great day, whatever you're up to, wherever you are. Have a great one. Enjoy. Until next time, come on, you irons. <laughs>